بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In Mecca the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sitting there and all the sahaba are there those who were in the battle of badr uhud those who were at the bait of ridwan they are all sitting there and the prophet and the, the ten who were guaranteed jannah sitting there the two father in laws of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam abubakar and umar are sitting there the two son in laws of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uthman and ali are sitting there and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam looks around and he says where's bilal He says, "Where is Bilal?" A Bilal stands up. He said, "Bilal, climb on the roof of the Kaaba and give the azan." The roof of the Kaaba was the most holiest roof, not just to the Muslims, but also to the Mushrikeen, because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted to show a token of the society that he came to create. That Bilal left the servitude of man. and he went into the servitude of the lord of man and this is how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated him you see 1400 years ago the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam dealt with the issue of racism and we still have it within our communities when abu dhar radhiyallahu anhu said to bilal ya ibn sauda o you son of a black woman bilal radhiyallahu anhu went to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he complained and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called abu dhar And he said, "Oh Abu Dhar, did you actually say that?" And he said, "Yes, O Messenger of Allah." And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Inna ka imran fi kal jahiliya." He said, "You're a man who still has the traits of ignorance in him." And then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Amazing thing." He said, "I, Muhammad, am equally the son of a black woman as I am a white woman, because he was breastfed by a black woman." You see the society that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to create. 1400 years ago he saw bilal suffering how was bilal elevated bilal radhiyallahu anhu was being tortured and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam walked past and he said to the sahaba he said is there anybody who can buy bilal and abu bakr radhiyallahu anhu goes and he goes to umayya he says to him sell me bilal and umayya says i'll sell him because you corrupted him in the first place and he said how much He said I sell him for 10 gold coins and Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu goes home and he brings 10 gold coins and he gives it to him and he takes the, the 10 gold coins and he begins to laugh and Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu says what's making you laugh He said I swear by Allah if you had haggled with me and you had offered me one gold coin for Bilal I would have accepted one gold coin And Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu said I swear by Allah Umayyah if you had haggled with me and you had asked me for a hundred gold coins for Bilal I would have given you a hundred gold coins He bought Bilal and then he freed Bilal and then what would he say He would say Bilal say you do not Bilal Bilal is my master The greatest creation after the anbiya to walk on the face of this earth called Bilal his master he bought him What would Umar ibn Al-Khattab say? The second greatest creation to walk on the face of this earth. He would say, Abu Bakr is our master and he freed our master. Let me make this quite clear. There's many muftis. If I'm wrong, they can rectify me afterwards. To be racist is as haram as eating a pork sandwich. And today, you have these beautiful masjids, million pound masjid. You call it Masjid Bilal. But if Bilal came, you would allow Bilal to become a committee member because he doesn't come from your village or your country. Sorry. Sorry Bilal. We know the sacrifice that you made. But you know what? You're not from India and we Indians and we Pakistanis are the chosen people. So we can't make you a committee member 1400 years ago. And you have the still have the same problem. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Abu said to Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar, you are a man who has the traits of jahiliyyah in you. You have the traits of jahiliyyah in you. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever has the traits of jahiliyyah, he will dwell in the fire of Jahannam. And the Sahaba said, in Sama wa in Salla, 
even if he prays or fasts, the Prophet Sallallahu said, in Sama wa in Salah, even if he prays or he fasts, he will dwell in the fire of Jahannam.